Dear younger me, you got this, you are enough, and yes, you are ready. Getting married young is not a bad thing. Many people will discourage you due to their own experiences, but trust God and enjoy the journey. Never let the negative words of someone change the ways in which you move. As a wife, you will go through good days and bad days. You will be faced with challenges that may seem unbearable, intolerable, and mind-blowing all at the same time. However, remind yourself that the way in which you handle the situation will determine the outcome. You will not get everything right all the time. You do not always have to prove yourself and you do not have all the answers, but that does not take anything away from who you are. It is imperative that you remind yourself that marriage will not always be a bed of roses, but a good wife understands how to withstand the thorns and then enjoy the flowers. There will be times in marriage when you realize the only way to handle the different seasons that marriages go through is by keeping God in the middle of it. When there are two people coming together as a unit from two different backgrounds, there will always be a difference of opinions. However, that can be a great thing if it is appreciated by the two of you. But understanding the power of compromise eliminates the long periods of consistent disagreements. Dark moments typically last if it is allowed within the marriage to linger without deciphering the issues. As a wife, take time out to meet God in prayer when issues arise and you have no answers. Do not be quick to respond when emotions are high. Many times individuals create bigger issues by responding before digesting the problem at hand and not allowing God to speak to them in the middle of it. Remember, before there was a dark moment, there were moments of joy and happiness. Therefore, when times get rough, think on the things that brought you to this day. Holding on to great moments will always be the ticket to the journey you are deciding to take with your lifetime partner. Moments of laughter and moments of fear, moments of happiness and joy, and moments of peace and tranquility will get you through those dark moments. Always learn to encourage yourself. In the Bible, David said, when nobody else encouraged me, I learned how to encourage myself. When days get rough, turning to people may not be the answer, but trusting and leaning on God's word will always be the greatest solution. A good statement to live by is work the word because the word works. Communing with God is the start of effectively communicating with others. Communication is one of the most important tools needed within any relationship. When something is wrong, do not be afraid to speak about it. Walking around carrying burdens causes more issues instead of figuring out how to deal with it. In marriage, you are a team, not opponents. Therefore, be careful that your actions do not create more problems. Learn how to share your feelings with each other. It's okay not to be okay. It's also okay to be vulnerable with your mate. Those are the moments that brings you closer when you are honest about how you may be feeling, regardless of it being good or bad. Many people focus on the bad, but it's imperative to understand how to communicate the good. Make sure your spouse knows what makes you happy and make sure you know what makes your spouse happy. Be sure to show your spouse how you would like to be treated if you are going to expect him to treat you a certain way. Do not expect anything you are not willing to give. Learn each other's love language. Sometimes it will cause you to be selfless, to meet others wants and needs. You must make a conscious decision that your relationship is worth the sacrifice and that you are willing to do whatever it takes to maintain a healthy marriage. 
There are many seasons that a marriage is faced with. And if I had to prepare differently, there would be nothing I would want to change due to what I've learned along the journey. Now, the one thing I would do differently to take care of myself would be to schedule me time. Having scheduled time to take care of yourself benefits both you and your spouse. When you take time out for yourself, you learn who you are while learning who you are becoming. Remember, you will not be the same person you are today, years from now, and neither will your spouse. Therefore, allow change to happen because you cannot change your spouse. And keep in mind, you are not marrying yourself. Realize marriage is work that has its benefits. And if you are ready to get on board, your only response is, I do. Thank you.